What's good guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time, we explored the Lost Tower and the Celestion Ruins, and in this episode, we are going to be heading to the next city, so let's leave Celestion Town now that we've done everything here, and head on to Route 210, which we've already gone on to before to catch ourselves a Roselia, so unfortunately there is no new encounter for this route, because we already caught the Roselia. So yeah, it's pretty much going to be a clean, well actually, this is in, I think this is split up into two routes, like 2, 10, and... 211, so we can get something on 211, which is good. And yeah, I'll just grab all these berries, even though I don't really need to get them, but yeah, I'll get them anyway. And uh, yeah, just get those berries, because berries are healthy and stuff. Alright, so let's sit over here and uh, try and run up a cliff that we can't and get a wild Pokemon. Well, do you, dude? Uh, just run away from that. But uh, yeah, I'm meant to come over here and take on this person. My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm proud of them. Alright, so you got yourself a Ponyta level 24. We're going to hit that with a return. And now uh, we're going to be able to kill that, which is great. To take a Flame Wheel, get burned, so that sucks. And uh, we need to switch. And we can't switch out because we're in a uh, Fire Spin crap. Alright. Um, <sighs> Alright, let's uh, heal up with a Super Potion then. And... Uh, Go for a return. <laughs> there we go. Wow, I was lucky. Good thing you didn't use Flame Wheel on me. But uh, looks like I'm heading back to heal already. And uh, there's no, there's no poke. Oh, there's a Pokemon in Slate. Wow, I don't think there's no Pokemon here. There is. I can buy Super Potions then. <sighs> that sucks. That was almost an awful start. A minute in, and that's like my favorite route too. I mean, actually, I like 209 because 209 has great music as well. But I love the music on Route 210, it's like really happy music and whatever. But it looks like we need to stock up before we head out, so... Yeah, we don't want anything bad happening, we only have like 5 super potions and that is not enough, so... We are gonna get, uh... I guess 16 wouldn't hurt. And, uh... I already have burn heals, right? I should have... Oh no, I don't have any. Okay, we'll get 10 of those then, because... I usually buy in bulk, so... For future references and whatever. But uh, yeah, let's just head out of here then, and head to the next route, because that's where we're going to go. Not the next route, wow, okay. Make our way towards the next city. So, uh, oops, didn't mean to go back down, I had to go up. But the reason I like this route so much is it's actually home to my favorite trainer in the game, which we'll see in just a second. But uh, if you come over here, you can get a move that could be helpful for your flying-type Pokemon, it's Roost, which uh, is a recovery move for flying-types. And they, like, it just gets rid of their flying-type for one turn. And it lets you uh, heal up health, so it could be kind of worth it. And I believe this like these two trainers have like Rapidash and uh, Ponyta, which is not fantastic. So I guess we'll go for the Rapidash because that is obviously the bigger threat. It is the evolved form of uh, Ponyta and stuff. So best to take out the bigger threat first. I don't know if a Quick Attack is going to kill from there, but we'll go for it anyway. And uh, yeah, it just killed great, so that's good. And we'll just wing attack that and excellent stuff. Whew, I thought that Rapidash was going to be a bit of trouble, but it wasn't too bad. Anyway, hop off our bike and just run up here and take on these two. I think they have like Cleffa and Pichu, or, Clefa or Clefairy and Pichu, so... Yeah, it's... or Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu and Clefairy, not Pichu. Uh, we're going to jump kick the Clefairy and we're going to switch out into, uh... I guess Tungsten. No, <laughs> why not? So jump kick knocks out the Clefairy because it's not a fairy type. Obviously, and up against level 26, trying to learn Iron Defense. Uh, I like the moves we have. We have Rock Tomb, Extra Sensory, Hypnosis, and Confuser. I think they'll be helpful more than uh, more than that move we were trying to learn, which was Iron Defense. I forgot what it was, but I remembered. So, Return knocks out the Pichu, and that's good stuff. I didn't mean to get. Now I'm messing up on the buttons again. Even though I switched them around, so I wouldn't mess up. All right, let's go with the opponent at the front. And we're about to take on my favorite trainer. And the reason I like this trainer so much is because she is a Happini. And Happini gives a hell of a lot of experience. Probably the most experience you're going to see at this part of the game. So, I mean, yeah, definitely worth your while. If you have the verse, well, you should have the verse recorded by now. Just come back here and face this trainer over and over again. You're going to get like 1,200 experience for just killing this Happini. And it's very, it makes grinding so much easier. Especially for upcoming gyms and stuff. So let's see, like, 1,255 
experience for a Happini. And I probably guaranteed level up around this point in the game when you, you when you battle it, so after battling the uh the Elkid and the Happini, you're probably guaranteed to level up, so that's why she's like my favorite. Anyway, take on this trainer next. And uh I'm a rookie breeder, well that sucks for you, because I'm not I'm not even a breeder, I'm well I used to breed a lot on X and Y. I mean I had my picture as Brock on on Twitter for a long time because I was a Pokemon breeder, just breeding stuff for people. But I haven't bred stuff in a while. I'm just waiting for Pokebank to come out before I do anything else on X and Y. And the Sonics won't get out of the way, so we can't go that way. But uh, let's take a look at the team. Do we need to go back to the Pokemon Center? Uh, I think we should, just in case. And then uh, make our way towards Veilstone City. But we'll head into that house up there because that is a uh, sort of cafe thing and you can battle trainers in there so I need to calm down speeding up because I might make the video go out of sync because I know that's what happened before or something like that so we'll just be a little bit more careful when speeding up and try not to do it that much <sighs> I changed the buttons so I won't make mistakes I keep making mistakes even though I changed the buttons now I'm used to the all system <laughs> oh uh, anyway this place is actually really good as well because you can buy Moo Moo Milk. And Moo Moo Milk's 500 a bottle, but you can buy a dozen, so that's, uh, it's 12. For, what, 6,000? I think? Yeah, that, that adds up. I print, yeah, 6,000, so. Like, it's worth your while. Moo Moo Milk restores 1,000 HP. No, a, th a tau- wow, okay, no, it doesn't. It, it, <laughs> it restores 100 HP. So it's really worth it while. It's like it's cheaper than super potions and it gives you more health. A thousand HP, if only. Alright, uh, wake up, slap that, so whatever. Flame wheel knocks you out, and that's all you had. Alright, that you had something else. But yeah, a hundred HP. It's not bad. Anyway, this guy's got a munchlax, so we'll flame wheel that. And it probably has thick fat, so it's probably best to go for stomp. And even though we're paralyzed, he's still. Oh, wow. Okay, can we not. Can we not get fully paralyzed? Thank you. But yeah, even like in Munch Life's like 5 base speed, it's like the slowest Pokemon in existence. So if, even if you're paralyzed, you should easily outspeed it. Again, I pressed the wrong button. I need to stop. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll use a paralysis heal to get rid of the paralysis. And I'll use a super potion, because I don't need to use a Moo Moo Milk when I have 73 HP. Anyway, let's we'll swap the team around, and I kind of want Zubat Woman to hopefully evolve by the time we get to the next gym, so... I think this guy over here should have a Heracross. Or someone in here has a Heracross, or at least they did in Diamond and Pearl. And this guy does have the Heracross, great, so I knew that. And we'll just wing attack that, knock it out four times, super effective. Air Trailer Air Cutter, which... Not that great. Well, it, it's alright, but... Uh, even though I have a, like, a bold Zubat Woman, which means it loses attack minus... Uh, or, loses attack and gets defense. Keep doing it. <laughs> it's probably... Better, let me just check its stats. Uh, that could have been a bad decision or a good decision. I still have more attack than special attack, so it's, it was probably a better decision for me to, uh, yeah, to keep wing attack over that. Anyway, next route. Now that we've done everything we can on route 210, we can get out of here and make our way to 215. I thought it was 211, but it's 215. Keeps the same music, but it is a new area, so we can catch ourselves a new Pokemon. And, uh, let's see what we got. Hopefully something good. It is a... Meryl! Alright, cool. I'll, I'll accept. So we got a Meryl. That's cool. I mean, we can... I'm only gonna hit it with one bite. And, uh... Catch it, because I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna knock it out. Or it's gonna do something silly and, like, knock itself out. Like, that's happened twice. Or something. Like, I killed the Rawls. Or the Rawls used Teleport. And, like, that was before we caught our own Rawls, but... Yeah, Ralts used Teleport, and the Ghastly in the last episode used Cursed. So, I mean, yeah, that killed itself. Anyway, we got Meryl. And, uh, we'll go with the name that we always give to Meryl around these parts. Maryland. After Maryland. As I'm sure you guys know who that is. There we go. Maryland. And, uh, this guy, I'm pretty sure... Keep doing it. I don't know why, I just keep doing it. I'm pretty sure he has a Bronze Orb and a Shieldon, which are two very defensive Pokemon. 
So, in the rain, it's not going to be great to battle those guys because I have a fire type, but uh, the rain will weaken down my flame wheels, so that sucks. But we'll just keep going for it anyway. Take an extra sensory. The thing about Bronzor is it's so defensive, but it's not a great attacker. Same goes for Shield on, but that thing probably has a rock type move. So, we'll go with Damage because we are four times super effective on that with Brick Break. And yeah, it's definitely our better switch and better way to win the battle. Alright, got an item just chilling here, nice max ether right in the middle of the road. And uh, this guy won't battle because it's not in the morning, so yeah, you gotta battle those guys in the morning if you want to uh, take them on or whatever. And this dude here is gonna give you TM66, which contains payback and dark type move. That uh, hits back with double the damage after you are hit. So definitely a decent move, I had it on Conk Elder for a while on uh, X and Y, and it was really helpful for like stuff like Gengar and whatever. But uh... Take on this guy with his Krogunk, and we are going to just flame wheel it. That did absolutely nothing, so we're going to switch out. And go out into uh, Tungsten, because we totally wall it. Pursued me, which sucks. And uh, it outspeeds me, and Extra Sentry still hits and knocks him out, so whatever. But That could have went terribly. It didn't, but it could have. And Derek's to beat out. Why, am I keeping, why do I keep using Epona, actually? I meant to switch that around. And, oh, yeah, why do I keep using that? I meant to use... Zubat Woman or Hopper, because they need to evolve. I think we have a, like a fighting type guy coming up, so better to go with Zubat Woman. Because Zubat Woman does wall those fighting types with its dark and poison, or not dark, well, flying and poison type fight. I keep saying stupid things, even though I know what they are. I know what the right thing to say is, I just keep messing it up anyway. Alright, so Machop, what we'll do is just wing attack it and KO it. And he's got a Machop as well, so KO that. Does he have three Machops or does he have a Machoke? He has three Machops, all in level 23. All easy for Zubat Woman to take out with, uh, with Wing Attack. And he gurgles, this guy like chokes after he dies. After he dies, well, after he loses. Uh, he chokes after he loses. I, I should probably stay quiet this entire episode. I should not commentate anymore because I'm speaking nothing but nonsense. And nonsense is not good. It's pretty nonsensical. Alright, so Petra Berries, great, uh, they're good for getting rid of poison. And Chester Berries, or Bluck Berries, I don't know what they do, I don't think they do anything. So, yeah, we came for the Petra Berries, stayed for the Bluck. <laughs> Let's grab this Hyper Potion, good, good stuff. I like how the rain is, like, seriously audible in this, uh, in this game. Wow, I can, like, hear it perfectly. That's kind of cool, I didn't realize it was that loud. <laughs> Yeah, it's not raining outside, it'll probably rain later though, it looks pretty bad. Don't know why I'm talking about the weather, because, you know, I think everybody wants to hear about the weather, so I don't know why I'm talking about it, but... Or not everybody... Whatever, alright, just kill the Skrogunk. Uh, Metatite, I can kill that too. Not kill, I can make it faint, because you don't kill in Pokemon, you make things faint. This man went for a triple detect, wow. And he has Machop, so we can stay in on that too, and we can attack it. And take it out. Nathaniel, alright. And, uh, yeah. Let's see, there's an item up here we can grab. And, wow, I didn't run into a single wild Pokemon. I don't have a repel Wow, burped. I don't have a repel spray, do I? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Just, just cleanly in and out in that grass as quickly as I could. Which is great. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? DM5. That is not a 5. That is a 3. <laughs> that is TM34. I am so stupid. Oh my lord. How do you people watch me? I don't know why. I, like... How? Like, how do you not rage at me every episode? I'm, I'm sure you probably do, you just don't comment it, but... Uh, we gotta run from that. That's scary. That's a scary threat. But yeah, how do you guys not yell at me all the time? I mean... Oh lord, I say the stupidest things. I mix up everything. I don't know, I'm just like incredibly stupid. Anyway, Gligar and Roselia. Gligar is gonna be hella annoying, so uh, we're gonna switch out and go. Don't even have anything that really wants to come in. Uh, I guess we'll stay in and go for a return. This Gligar is gonna be hell to take out, though. Yeah, look at that damage. That nice little bit of chip damage. Uh, we'll switch. We'll switch it up then and go for uh, ring attack on the Gligar and return the Ralts. Screech lowers my defense. That sucks. A lick a tongue, uh, that's sort of scary, so wing attack and jump kick. Don't know if jump kick will kill. Nope. 
Didn't do enough. Uh, I used Defense Curl though, so that's fine. Take out the Gligar. Still have not taken out that Gligar. It's still just moving around here. Alright, Pweezel. Uh, I'm just gonna take out the Lickitung and they're gonna return the Pweezel, which should outspeed me and- oh lord. That was scary. That <laughs> was quite scary. Uh, let's just use a Super Potion then. And <clears throat> heal up. And then finish this with a another return. <sighs> and uh, next up we got Drift Blim. Oh my lord. Big, big threat. Uh, I'm going to heal up. And then I'm going to switch out into uh, Mufasa. Because I need to stay alive. And oh no, we got the boosts. Not the boosts. Alright, so I'll go for Bite. And, uh, it's bite it. Actually, no, it's spark it. Why would I bite it? It can spark it. Good lord, that ominous wind is doing too much to Zubat Woman. We need to heal up again. And, uh, take it out with the spark. Good lord, that did a lot. And it had aftermath. That sucks. Alright, level 29. And, oh, Jesus. Jesus. They were terrible. They were hard to take out. Good lord, that was a... That was some powerful trainers right there. Anyway, we got the Wikipedia Berry, and, uh, the Mago Berry, and there we go, so, we have pretty much made it to the next town, it was a tough route, though, uh, let's see what this guy says here, if he says anything interesting, I want to go to Slicey Town, but there's Pokemon in the way, who knows what they're there, but they're not budging, okay, so yeah, we made it here to Veilstone City, I actually really like the music here as well, it's like it sounds like something out of Pokemon Coliseum. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, two Team Galactic guys blocking the way there. We're not gonna get by them. But I think in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, we're gonna explore Veilstone City. So I thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. I know I've said a lot of stupid crap, more stupid than usual. But hopefully it hasn't like. Ruin the episode for you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys next time. So, see you guys then.